Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Amber and I'm the owner and creator behind Being and Bliss. I make all handmade organic baby clothing, baby blankets, embroidered birthday shirts, accessories like teethers, pacifier clips, anything to do with a baby, I do it. So today is going to be a little bit of a different studio vlog. I have, like you can see right here, all of these bummies that I have sewn up. I need to put my clothing labels and sizes on each of them. I need to tag them with prices for the local shop that I'm in. So yeah, these are all for a local shop that I'm in. So this is what I call my inventory. Not inventory for my website, but inventory for a local shop that I'm in. So today I have to tag everything, put my labels on everything. I have to take pictures of everything because she also has a website that she puts them on. And yeah, I have a busy day because I have to get all of my inventory to her the, by the end of the week. So lots and lots to do. So I hope that you guys like this kind of video. If you do, please comment below. You will probably see me working on orders throughout the day as well because I still do need to work on those. Um, I'm just going to work them in throughout the day. I think I only have like five orders that need to go out by tomorrow, so that's not too many. Um, and yeah, so I have a lot to do today, so let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I label each one. I have these little, um, I just make them out of cardstock. That way I know the sizes and I do inventory and I stick each size on top. So I'm just going to grab each pile individually and put the labels, my logos on them, and the sizing tags on them. So I'm going to use my new machine, if you guys don't know and you haven't seen my last video. I just recently got this industrial sewing machine, and the reason I picked this exact machine is because I needed a straight stitch and a zigzag stitch in an industrial strength machine. They don't have too many of these um, in industrial machines that offer both straight and zigzag stitch. So anyway, long story short, I got that because I needed the two stitches, the two stitch options. So you will be seeing me use this machine a lot more now because it is replacing this machine. I'm still going to leave this machine out just for when I need it um, because I love using all of my machines. There's not one that I don't, they each have a specific um, job per se. <laughs> um, so you will see me move around the room and do different things at different times. So that is what I'm going to start on now.
are all finished. So now I just need to um, go heat press them. I don't use an iron if you're new here. I use my heat press for everything. I just think it looks um, cleaner and it gives a more professional look in the end. And it's easier, honestly, for me. Um, so I'm gonna go heat press these and then they're finished. And then I just have to tag them with my price tags for the shop. And I already have pictures of them, so I don't need to do pictures of these. So I will be back. So now I'm going to be pressing all of these and that's what I'll be doing for the next clip. I just feel like it gives a more professional look and it just, it's easy and I just like it. It's just a personal preference. I'm not saying anything bad about an iron. I just really like the outcome of a heat press compared to an iron. So with that being said, I heat press all of my items, every single one of them. Even my minky fabric, if it looks wrinkled from being all on the bolt, I will just throw it under here with a Teflon sheet over it, of course, and I'll just heat it for like three seconds, real fast. And then it literally comes out nice and smooth. Reaching for the ground. Take your shoes off. Oh, <laughs> don't fall. You can put your tablet down for a second so you can take your shoes off, Bubby. Missy Moo, hi. Hi. Andrew, take your shoes off. Oh, where do they go? Me too. Where do they go? Where's your, bis where's your basket? Which one's yours? He's learning so much, you guys. Where's your basket? Open it. Open. Open. Put your shoes away. Put this down. Put your shoes away. 
Do your shoes go in this one? Push pause. Look at mama. Where do your shoes go? No. Is it stuck? It's stuck. Mama help you. Mama help you. Here you go. Ready? There you go. Okay, let's go eat. Go, come on. He's the leader, guys. He's the leader of the pack. Blaze. Blaze. Blaze? Okay. 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 Where do you want to go? Blaze. You want to sit in your chair while I make your food? Or do you want to sit on the couch? Your chair? Okay. So he loves this time after school when he's just sitting in his high chair and eating his lunch. He's so big that he barely fits in this high chair anymore, but every time I try to sneak it to give it to Goodwill, he freaks out. So he's still attached to it, so he's my last baby. And I just kind of say, you know, they grow up too fast. So let him do what he wants. If this is his comfort zone, then I'm okay with it. So look at his little dog. She just begs and begs and thinks that he's gonna throw it down, which he normally does. So anyway, I'm gonna let him eat some lunch and then I'm gonna lay him down and we are going to get back to work. So I will see you guys out in the shop in just a few. Okay guys, I am back and my son is still not asleep yet, but I have him on the iPad and this is how I do it. I just watch him on there while I start working and then eventually he falls asleep. So once we get him to sleep, he usually sleeps for about three hours. I have to wake him up because I don't want him to sleep longer than that. Otherwise he won't sleep at night very well. So he's a good, good sleeper. Um, okay, so now I gotta finish pressing these and then we're gonna start tagging things. So, hope you enjoy the ride today. I decided I'm gonna switch it up a little bit. I have to get these done too. I mean, they all have to be done. So I'm gonna go ahead and start poking holes. So these are already pressed. I have my tags on them. They're already literally ready to go. The only thing I have to put the, the cam snaps on. So now at this point, once they're all pressed and ready to go, this is what they look like. So they're all nice and pressed. They all have my tag on them, whether they're girls or boys, doesn't matter. Um, and then I just have to lint roll some of them on the back if I feel like there's a little bit of lint on them and That is what they look like. So they're all ready go ready to go
today is a different day. I had so many things going on last night after the kiddos got home from school that I wasn't able to come out until after bedtime again. And I had to focus, focus, focus because I only have one more day before I have to finish all this inventory up. So I decided just to put the camera away and work last night and then start um, recording again today for you guys. So right now, I'm just working on tagging everything. And you're gonna see me working on this machine because although that one would probably be faster, I'm still not fully acclimated to it yet. So I really, really need to hurry and get these done. And I know this machine like the back of my hand so I can get the tags on them in a jiffy. So. I'm gonna be doing that on this machine and then I'm just gonna kind of be like putting tags on. I have to make blankets today. I have to do some embroidery because I have a lot of orders that are backing up um, because I have been doing inventory. So I've been pushing my orders off, which um, I need to get caught up on them today. I need to finish these from yesterday that I didn't get to because last night I just finished up inventory. That way I can be done with it and then focus on the shop. So the shop meaning Etsy and website, so orders basically. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoy the rest of today's video and hopefully I can get this video up and running for you guys tonight. Be hard working so you can be deserving of the rest that you are given. You gotta slow down. to go now all I need to do is lint I always lint roll the back because I don't want to give it to them if there's like fuzz on it so I always make sure it's nice and clean they've all got their cam snaps put on I did those yesterday so those are good to go so now these are separated into two piles I need to do that to my bibs and the two piles are um, I made two of each print for the shop to sell as a single bib or a burp cloth and this pile is for uh, a combo. So I will put the matching bib with the matching burp cloth together as a set and I sell them like that. Some people like to sell or to buy them like a set and other people like to just be able to pick and choose whichever pattern they want. So I'm gonna separate these and then I'm gonna start wrapping. So these are the wraps that I use for the sets and they just say my, they have my logo and then it has organic cotton bandana bib and burp cloth set and then I put the price and then when it wraps around there is care instructions on here. They're very small but you can read them. Just today and not tomorrow.
working So you can be deserving Of the rest that you are given You gotta slow down And look around you son Give a lot and live a little Work with what you got Okay, so the way that I tag these are, it doesn't matter the, what size they're in, I just um, like to keep them in order by size, so I know I have four of each print in each size, but that doesn't matter, they're all going to be the same price. There are different prices on my website, but when I do inventory for the, the local shop I'm in, it's just easier for me and for her to keep them all at the same price, so that is what we decided on doing. Um, so I know I need 24 tags because there's 24 bummies and then I just start tagging. So let's get to it. Easy now. just get my inventory done I have to take it to the store tomorrow so I hope that you guys really enjoyed this different kind of studio vlog today where I kind of had to do inventory and stuff for the local shop that I'm in besides doing orders so I need to finish up inventory tonight I am working on the shirts that I have I'm cutting out each TV to put on onesies and toddler tees to match the bummies that I showed you guys earlier and so they're going to be sold as like a set and that's what we wanted to do this time around they're going to be super cute so at the end of the video i will actually just post a picture of what the set ended up looking like okay so here are some of the process i'm doing it is still going on over at the cricket machine but i have all the shirts and bummies with their sizes put together and right now i'm cutting out the 18 month ones so i have a white shirt to go with the leopard print because the oatmeal one doesn't really go with it i think it kind of blends in too much and then we'll do an oatmeal one with um the cute boho rainbow We'll do an oatmeal one with the cactus print, which is really cute. And we'll do an oatmeal one with the Selling Adventures one. So this is my stack. I have all of them in order. I have some over here that I've already like weeded and they're ready to go. So those ones are ready to be heat pressed. And then over here, I have my stock of inventory that is done. I've already taken pictures of all these. These ones have already gotten pictures. I made these cute like little tooth fairy pillows. Look how cute those things are. And then you get two options. So I have one with like jagged edges and then one with just straight edges. So cute. I only made four of them. And then these ones are already done. So here is what the shirt looks like with that. And let's see what does the next one look like. There's this one with that so cute and then sailing adventures so adventure with a sailboat to go with that one isn't that so cute and then last but not least my little rainbow to go with the rainbow so cute so that is what I have been working on today. I told you guys I would show you pictures. So now I just gotta finish cutting everything out and get it all nice and neat to, and put together so I can take it to the shop. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for all your continued support and love once again. And I hope that you guys all have a wonderful day. Until next time, bye for now.